Jack State had the week off, and Coach Prime and the JSU Tigers can't catch a break. You got Coach Prime being told, recruit more five stars. You got recruits saying, hey, Coach Prime, I had enough of this. I'm going to the transfer portal. And now you got the laugh at the open competition for the quarterback position. Now has JSU fans furious out there, man. There's one major thing that everyone is missing. Yes, sir. You know your favorite coach is back at it again. Ten toes down. And about to tell you how it all goes down. But first, welcome back to Tomorrow League Sports Network with your host, Coach Walker. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, subscribe. That's right, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Like these videos. Comment on these videos. Share these videos. Hit that notification bell so you get all these videos. Guys, not to mention, you can follow us on social media. The links are listed down below in the description. So without further ado, you know your coach is going to do what he normally do. Just jump on in and tell you how this thing goes. But first, tell a friend, two, three, four, five, come on in. The party is live. We just got another positive vibe going on over here, guys. But check this out. Yes, the things, things have gotten off to a, a, a crazy start for this week. So we got Coach Maynard giving Coach Prime the business after Alabama a and coming to Jackson State and lay that smack down on him with a kill glass, throwing six touchdown passes and running for another, sending JSU to their third consecutive loss. Before you get upset with Coach, just hold on, guys. I'm going to give you the rundown on what's really going on because I'm going to tell you right now. Jackson State has been in all three of the games, except for the Southern game where Coach Odom and the Southern University Tigers came in there and just truly undressed Jackson State because they kept them from doing a lot of the things that they've been comfortable with doing throughout the season against previous teams. But I'm going to be honest with you. You got to understand this. <clears throat> you got one thing I keep saying over and over again that I think no one is really paying attention to is the fact that Coach Odom showed us all how undisciplined the Jackson State Tigers really are. And that's at all positions. That's in all facets of the game. Now, not to mention, some things showed up on film that have coaches and Coach Prime sitting there scratching their head trying to figure out, okay, we've seen this in practice. Now we've seen this in multiple games. Okay, we got to find a way to do something different. We got to make a change. We got to do something so that we're able to get through this thing and be able to move forward with this program come the fall so that, you know, we can go ahead and sure up all of the, the issues and problems that we got going on. But, God, I'm going to be honest with you. There's some glaring things that, that really stood out on the camera, you know, that got exposed real badly, like players not blocking, understanding the understanding plays or defensive uh, assignments being missed badly. But everyone has had every, – everyone, listen, I've said over and over again, discipline, discipline, discipline. You've heard me say that in multiple videos now, and the discipline is showing. When you have a player hit a quarterback in the head – where you already know the game is pretty much out of reach, you're not going to win the game, and the, and the quarterback is taking a knee, and you hit that quarterback in the head while he's taking the knee, and then go to the sideline and want to act a fool because you got put out the game. Come on, guys, where's the discipline in that? I'm just being honest. You guys know, hey, you know I'm gonna tell it to you straight. I've already had once one subscriber, one family, excuse me, not subscriber, one family member tell me, hey, why don't you pick a team and ride with that team? Guys, understand one thing. I like to stay in the middle. I want to stay neutral because I know many of you out there that watch this channel like more than just Jackson State and there's other teams that I talk about as well. So I just want to make sure that I'm giving you content on everything that everybody can enjoy. That's the type of person coach is. I love to make sure that we out there able to enjoy everything and have a good time. Like I said, guys, positive vibes over here. Number positive vibes over here. Whether we want to hear or understand what I'm about to say, hey, it's the honest to God truth. And listen, coach, hey, listen, the bottom line is this. College is a business. I've said that before as well in multiple videos as well. And I think a lot of these, a lot of these collegiate athletes do, don't understand that college is a business. I think I'm, I, hey, listen, leave me a comment below because I think I want to do a video on a quarterback at another college that did not pan out in the manner which everyone expected him to because there's a lot of flaws in his game. He had God given talent, no question about it. But him playing that position showed that there are some glaring things that he could not do that prevented him from being the next best thing at that college or university that he was attending. So, hey, if I get 50 likes, I'm going to give you the breakdown on this player. I'm not even going to give you his name. I'm going to give you the breakdown on this player. If I get 50 likes on this video, I'm going to do the video for you, all right? But this is the thing. Uh, Jalen Jones and Quincy Case, they both played for they, – they both played phenomenally – at the position of quarterback. Don't get me wrong. There, is there some inconsistencies there? Yes, there are. Is there some things that's being missed while they're out there in the field? Yes, there are. And I understand everybody said, but coach, come on, man. Coach Prime need to be coaching these kids up. I'm telling you guys, listen to me. You tell me what Power 5 program or what program period that you know of is going to come in there and, and continuously coach a kid up as far as getting them ready to be prepared to go out there and play a game. 
The players got to do things as well, guys. And all of this doesn't fall on the coach. You got to remember one thing. This doesn't happen on the high school level. This doesn't happen on college level. And it dang sure don't happen on the pro level. So, so before any of you get upset, get to talk about coach, you don't know what the hell you talking about, man. I'm going to tell you right now. The bottom line is this, guys. There, you tell me how many coaches are going to spend practice after practice, day after day, showing a player time and time and time again what they need to do out there on the field to be successful. You know it's not going to happen. What they're going to do is they're, going to, they're looking to polish the product. They're looking to polish a semi-finished product to make that product better. But that player, that collegiate athlete, still has to get out there and do the things necessary for them to be successful out there on the field. Not just sit back and complain about, hey man, I ain't getting no chance. Hey man, I ain't getting no love. This, that. No, you got to get out there and do your part as well. I.e. get your trainers, i.e. work with necessary people to get you in the position so that you can do the things that you need to do to be successful. I'm not saying none of these players haven't done that. You have a professional athlete that is a head coach that understands how to rate these players based on their play. And if they're not living up to that, living up to that level of where he feels they should be, they should be. Guess what's gonna happen? Change gonna come. Prime laughed at the laughed at the reporter asking the question, you know, over and over again about open competition on all of the different uh, positions. Yeah, Coach Prime laughed because you know what? That that question continuously keep getting asked over and over again. And if many of you are not paying attention to the fact that they still have one game left, guys, and it makes no sense to create a bunch of chaos within the locker room, which is already there. I said that before also, that chaos is already there, which now has caused some divide because a lot of these players are seeing that, hey, he ain't playing with them. And guess what? There's a strong possibility they might be standing on the sideline this fall. So the thing is, what are you going to do about it? And right now, guess what? You already know when when a new coach take over a program previously from an old coach and you got recruits there, recruits going to say, hey, they're going to leave. Now we got three players that saying they're going to go. And I believe it's probably about four or five and waiting to, waiting to hear the other two. But right now we got Jalen Jones. We got Vincent McIntosh. We got Rodell uh, Washington. And, you know, they're all looking for a fresh start because they're they know or they've been told, hey, listen, guys. You're not you're not cutting the mustard as far as what's going on. My thing is, these young men still have opportunities to go play collegiate football. So the last thing I want to do is try to chop them down the knees to have them looking bad for you know possibly keeping them from getting to where they're trying to go. Again, coaches are going to look at film. They're going to assess them in the manner which they need to. I'm gonna let those coaches do that, and I'm gonna hold off on doing that. For, you know, doing that part for another time. Because, like I said, I don't want to see no young men out here be no young. I don't want to see anyone. Period. Be prevented from reaching their goals or reaching their dreams or things that they want to do and look to accomplish in life. I wish all of them the best of luck and hope they land on their feet and get to where it is that they're looking to go. But until next time, guys, if you like the content, please like, share, subscribe. That's right, guys, subscribe to the channel. Like these videos, comment on these videos, share these videos, guys. Not to mention, you can follow us on social media. The links are listed down below in the description. Don't forget, guys, hey, tap a friend, two, three, four, or five. Tell them to come on in. This party is live, man. Nothing but positive vibes over here. We're just having a good time talking about HBCU sports, professional sports, and we talk about recruiting, and not to mention, we talk about everyday, everyday current affairs as well. So you'll see a lot of different videos coming from me on those things. And not to mention, I got to thank my team because I had someone question me about who's my team. I say we from time to time. You got to understand one thing. When you bounce things off people as well as you have folks doing things for you on the back end, that's considered a team. You thinking that you're doing it by yourself all the time, you're not always doing it by yourself. There's always someone in the back helping you get through whatever it is you need to do. So I like to thank them. If I haven't done so, I want to continue to keep thanking them on a daily. But guys, remember, be the one and lead.